Okay, in other videos we've taken a look at selling single items or single services and we've taken a look at how to build product pages on your site in various ways. Now it's time to think about shopping carts and first of all basic shopping carts. Now of course we know there's three elements the catalog, the cart and the checkout. Those are the three parts of what we call shopping carts. What I mean by a basic shopping cart is literally the shopping cart. So just the cart, no catalog or checkout needed. What are the scenarios that you might want this under? Well, you might already have a catalog online, right? Could be large, could be hundreds of products, could be small, just 20 or so, something like that. But you have a catalog already there, okay? And you've built it in some format in WordPress. Doesn't matter at this point. You can add a shopping cart to it. Or let's say, for example, you have no catalog yet, but you know you're going to have very few products. So you don't mind building, you know, 5, 10, 20 maybe. It's not worth it going to a full shopping cart at that point because you know you have a limited set of products. And that's it. So you could just build them. Now you need to add a shopping cart to it. And finally, you don't even need a catalog at all, for example. You've already got your services on there or you know you're only ever going to have services. You just simply want a way for people to maybe add a few services together in a shopping cart. So those are a few scenarios, at least, where you might just want a basic shopping cart. That is, no catalog, no checkout functions, just the shopping cart. All right. What I'm going to show you can be done with any third-party processor that offers shopping carts, but I'm going to show you with PayPal because it's the simplest. It's the one most people use. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to show you, by the way, this is what I've got already in my catalog. Okay, I've already built this, maybe using some of the techniques I showed you. However you've done it, you've got some items like this, and you want to add a PayPal shopping cart to this. Okay, so you go to PayPal, and this is the page where you find tools for merchant services, and you're checking out your buttons. Of course, we want an Add to Cart button. Up until now, we've looked at Buy Now buttons, now you need a special button because it's going to tell the system that there's a cart to go to, cart to add the information to. All right, so we click on Add to Cart, and there's where we find Create a PayPal button. Just make sure that this drop-down does say Shopping Cart. Okay, you can actually choose any type of button from here, but it should say, because of the link we clicked on, it should say Shopping Cart. So double-check that. Then I enter the name of my item, I've got my product ID number that I want to put in there. I've got my price, currency. There are some other things you can do. You can change the look of the button. You could add your own button. We're just going to go with the very basics at this point. So now I am finished. There's a bunch of steps there that I finish. I get to this point. Now I'm viewing my button code. You can see what my button's going to look like there. And here's the code for it. And I'm going to copy that code and keep it in a safe place, separate from WordPress. We're going to use it to go into WordPress after. So I've grabbed that. And then if I scroll further down the page, you'll see, and there's my Add to Cart button on the code. But if I scroll further down here, you can see it says Create a View Cart button. And we're going to need that. So I'll click on that. And that takes me to some options for creating the View Cart button. And in this case, it says use smaller button or use your own image. I'm actually going to use the smaller button. And here's what I get. There's a view of my smaller button. And there's my code. And I would highlight all of that. You just click select code, highlight it all, and then you've got it. And I'll show you on a text editor here. Okay, so there in my text editor, there's my button. This is my Add to Cart button for that one product only. Don't forget, you're going to have to create a separate button for each one. That's why it doesn't make a lot of sense. If you have a lot of products, this is not a great way to go. But if you've got, you know, maybe up to 10 or 20 products, this isn't too bad. You can manage each of them through their own button, which you would manage in PayPal. Now, this one below it, a lot of code there, that is for your View Cart button. So how do we use these? Very, very straightforward. We just go back to here. Actually, let me go back for a second and let me grab the button. So this is our Add to Cart button. I'll go back over to here and I go to my Edit Post for my Square Teak Bowl. And I just simply put it right down here. I can put it anywhere I want, but I'll just put it below my price here. Put that in. 
By the way, to make sure there's no extra space above it, you remember from before, we take out the spaces here. So there's no spaces in there, and that'll keep it from being a little too big, taking up a lot of space. I update, I go back over to here, and I refresh. And there I've got my Add to Cart button. That was nice and easy. And if I click on it, you'll see it takes me over to PayPal. Now the shopping cart is all on PayPal. You can see there it says your shopping cart. This is where I work with quantities, removing items, anything like that. Okay, that's not done on your site. Continue shopping takes me back to there. Now, of course, the problem is, how do I see my cart? Well, that's where our view cart comes into play. Let's go back again to our text editor. All right, now I have to grab the entire one. Just make sure you've grabbed everything right to the end of form there, the closing bracket of form. Copy that. I go back to here now. Instead of in my post, where I want to go is into my sidebar, right, through my widgets. So I just go into here. I go through to widgets, and I find myself a text box. All I have to do is put in a text box. Because this doesn't have a sidebar, I'm actually going to put this in footer area one. Hang on one second here. Let me close that. And I'll just put it into here. Just so it's in my footer, because these particular pages in this theme don't have a sidebar. And rather than worrying about that, let me just put it into there. Put it into there. Paste it all in. Okay. Remember, it's a button in itself, so I don't need to do anything else. I go back over to here. And I refresh, and now in my footer, I've got my view cart button. Now, of course, typically you're going to want that on the sidebar, just for the sake of this particular theme. It didn't have a sidebar on this page. But that's where you put your view cart. And again, you click any time from there, you click that, and you will get to your shopping cart. And again, you continue shopping. It just takes you back to where you were. And it's that simple to set up a shopping cart using PayPal, or as I say, any third-party processor that has a shopping cart. Not all of them do offer it. They may only have Buy Now buttons, but that's fine. You might want to choose a processor that's got a shopping cart. Now, there's a lot of work to this, and in particular, there's this work right here. Creating a button, maintaining it. Let's say you want to change the price, or you want to put it on Special. You've got to go back to PayPal and work with that individual button, and that can get a little bit awkward, perhaps, if you've got a lot of products, perhaps, or you're changing things quite frequently. So that's something to keep in mind, and that's something that can be solved by our next step, which is to find plugins that will handle some of this process for you. Create a shopping cart in PayPal, but do it in such a way that you can manage it more easily directly from your WordPress installation. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at in the next few videos.